الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ I want to advise myself and my Muslim brothers and sisters to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayu ladina amanu wa taqullah haqa taqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. O you who believe fear Allah and do not die except as Muslims. something we have to re remind ourselves about is the right of the husband and the right of the wives in the marital bond in Islam Allah is ever watchful over you so fear Allah, whom you ask for your rights. Ahabatifillah, the rights of the husband over the wife are great. And those rights consist primarily that she listens and obeys her husband in that which is obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if, for example, he asks her to pray, then she should pray with no question. She should seek his permission to fast if it's an extra fast, if it's not the obligatory. But he cannot stop her from the obligatory. For example, the fast of Ramadan. The husband cannot say, no, I want to uh, enjoy my time with you. I want to enjoy you. Don't fast. Nah, he can't say that. That's not his haq. And it's not for the woman to obey him in that. But in general, she must give herself physically to her husband who, when that right is not fulfilled, it causes facade. And this Ahabat Allah is well known. That how many men they involve themselves in pornography, how many men they involve themselves in ext extramarital affairs, how many men involve themselves in other activities because their wife denies them of their rights. I'm not saying that that's always the cause. This is a weakness and a deficiency in the man as well. And a great sin. However, this can contribute if the woman, which many men face this problem, that the woman denies her husband. Likewise, the women have great, great rights. The woman's right is that she has the right to be cared for. Clothing, shelter, uh, and food, the things that she needs, her basic needs, she doesn't have to work. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given her of rights. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the men a type of fadl or uh, greatness over the women because they have a greater responsibility, because they have a greater responsibility to fulfill over the rights of the women by giving them, by providing for them. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us all of our many shortcomings with regards to our spouses. It's also important that we have to remind each one another that also the men do not have the right to beat their wives, to be abusive towards their wife in speech or physically. That those things which go beyond the bounds of Islam, of course, are not acceptable and are sinful. So do your best to guard yourself and guard the rights of the of the wife and guard the rights of the husband. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our many, many, many shortcomings and our many sins.